video we're going to add some gated reverb to the snare. So let's have a listen to this kick, hi-hat and snare at the moment without anything on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the snare track down here and I'm going to create a send. I'm going to use a bus. I'm going to use bus 1 which is going to create an auxiliary track for me right here. I'm going to double click and I'm going to call that um, gated reverb. And then I'm going to press the Alt key and click here and that will automatically send 0 dB directly to this. So the signal will be traveling down here and going both to stereo out and to bus 1. From bus 1 I'm going to add an effect. I'm going to go for reverb, space designer, I'm going to pick something that's quite long, large spaces, let's go for a haul, soft haul, two and a half seconds of delay. And let's turn up the reverb to max so we can hear it. Let's have a listen to that. Okay, brilliant. That reverb is enormous but very unusable because the tail of it is so long. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a, a dynamic effect, a noise gate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it listen to the snare. So it will only open when the snare is playing. So I'm going to lift up the threshold all the way up to the top. And I'm going to start lowering it down. So I'll lower it down. auxiliary track with all the effect on. And now with the effect. I can hear that it's chopping up the sound a little bit too much, so I'm going to increase the hold to about 40 milliseconds to see what effect that has. That's better. I'm going to increase the release a little bit. So the decay of that reverb it takes a little bit longer. 